Welcome to Daggy Made Easy. I'm your host Ching En. This is a bite-sized companion where you can learn anything and everything there's to know about Daggy. Come along with me as we uncover the power of Daggy and feel the heartbeat of Taiwan. Hi, welcome back to the show. In last week's program, we talked about some of the most iconic local delicacies to try when you travel to Taiwan's southern city, Tainan. In this episode, I'll take you to explore a few fascinating destinations worth visiting in Tainan. This guide is designed for those who are interested in history and culture. Now, let's hang out and discover more about Tainan. Our first destination is National Museum of Taiwan Literature, located just one and a half kilometers from the Tainan train station. It's easily accessible on foot or by bus. The main building of the museum was initially built in 1916 to serve as the government house of Tainan Prefecture during the Japanese colonial era. Unfortunately, it was bombed in World War II, and Taiwan's government didn't renovate the building until 1997. The space was then transformed into what it is today in 2003. The museum is the first of its kind established for the research, preservation, and education of Taiwanese literature. In its permanent exhibition, "The Power of Literature: Writing Our Taiwan," visitors are introduced to the development of Taiwanese literature. You will gain a basic understanding of Taiwan's literary history, intellectual trends, and the political and historical significance of literature to the nation. Don't miss the museum's gift shop, where you'll find canonical literary collections and beautiful souvenirs. The museum is a great starting point for anyone interested in learning more about Taiwan. Next, we visit the Hayashi Department Store, first opened in 1932. It was one of the only two in Taiwan with state-of-the-art elevators. At that time, riding an elevator was a novel experience for most Taiwanese people. The store was also damaged during the war. But was refurbished in 2006 and has since become a hotspot for tourists. Hayashi Department Store now features exhibitions of local agricultural products and delicate handicraft. There's a Japanese shrine and an observation deck on the rooftop where you can enjoy a panoramic view of the cityscape. I believe you'll have a wonderful time there. Our final stop is the Chenmei Movie Theater. Established in 1950, Chenmei is where the world-famous director Ang Lee was inspired to work in the film industry. Despite the growth of new movie theaters over the years, Chenmei remains a popular entertainment destination for many locals. The vintage style of its interior design is another reason that many tourists visit from out of town. For just one hundred and forty NT dollars, you can watch up to two movies, making it an economical choice for weekend entertainment. An additional noteworthy aspect of Chenmei is that all the movie billboards are manually painted by its artist Yan Zhengfa. Yan is one of the last remaining movie billboard painters in Taiwan and has dedicated over fifty years to this craft. A few years ago, he began holding regular workshops for young people to pass on his expertise. If you visit the Chenmei Movie Theater, you might even see this master at work painting a movie billboard across the street. These are the three destinations I've chosen for you to visit when traveling to Tainan. This also concludes our series on Tainan. I hope you've enjoyed the program so far. I'm your host Ching En. Stay tuned for more about the Taiwanese language and culture on Radio Taiwan International next Friday. Bye.